Hi, my name is Jonathan, and I am a nudist. And I'd like to share with you the world view of a nudist, because a lot of nudists are really misunderstood. And I'm, all, I'm also an anarchist, and anarchists are really misunderstood. Um, like, people generally do not understand our values, our worldview, how we see the world as nudists, well, as anarchists too, but about nudism. I, of course, do not represent all nudists, but one reason I'm doing this vlog is because I want to understand who I am, who I myself am in relation to the rest of the contemporary world, because I understand I'm a little weird and different than other people. So, I'm just trying to understand who I am compared to the rest of the world, basically. But I've never been to a nudist camp because it's too expensive, um, a lot of money. But I grew up um, in a very large national forest in northern Michigan, and up until I was 12 years old, I would roam the woods, hundreds of acres of national forest. I would roam the woods nude, um, naked, up until I was 12 years old, and I just loved doing that because it connected me um, with the woods. And just walking around nude in the, the woods was just, that's how I grew up, and it really connected me to Mother Earth and to, to the trees, to the land, to the water. So, and I haven't done that since I was 12. But I also um, model nude for a large university sketch drawing class. Um, I'm a model for a large co-ed university sketch drawing class, and I, just, I love um, modeling. Even though I, it's weird because I can't not give a uh, five-minute speech. Like, I get really nervous for um, five-minute speeches, <laughs> but I can stand nude for three straight hours in front of a bunch of co-eds comfortably, and I have no problem with that. Um, <laughs> it's really weird. I like to uh, walk around nude in my apartment. I'm comfortable doing that. So I'm actually very shy. I'm a very um, shy person. But I'm comfortable modeling nude, which is weird. And I'm, com I'm, I'm actually more comfortable nude. I'm more comfortable being myself without any clothes on. Um, I'm actually more comfortable relating to other people without any clothes on than I am with clothes on, but, like, <laughs> so, yeah, a little weird, but, just explaining the world view of a nudist, um, to me, being a nudist means, like, not wearing clothes shows, express, not wearing clothes expresses that you have nothing to hide, and it builds trust with other people, um, it really, it just builds community, um, like being nude. So that's something I appreciate about um, nudism. And there's also spiritual reasons to me practicing nudism. I'm an Eastern Orthodox Christian, and a lot of Eastern Orthodox Christians are actually nudists. It's part of our tradition, actually, because we as Eastern Orthodox Christians, we understand, understand God as fused with the natural world. And we believe the body is inherently good, unlike the Western Christians, Catholics and Protestants. We, as Eastern Orthodox Christians, believe that the body is profoundly beautiful, um, and we do, do not think the body is evil, um, like Catholics believe that. Like, we believe original sin is a heresy. Um, that's not scriptural. Original sin is against the traditions of Christianity. So we say original sin is not is original sin is a heresy. So like uncovering our bodies, like being nude, out in pub out in public, that is not automatically going to bring the worst out on people. Um, I think Protestants, Catholics think that. But like I don't think God intended for humanity to wear clothes. Um, God intended humanity. God intended the world people to to go public. To go nude out in public, for real. So yeah, we do not believe in original sin. So I have a question for Muslims, because I know Muslims do not believe in original sin e either. Like, so why do Muslims cover up? Like, why are women required to cover up? If you as a Muslim would also say it's wrong to believe in original sin, you do not believe in original sin either. Why are women required to cover up their bodies? Like, my question to Muslims, because don't understand that. So, 
And as being a nudist, I, I think that a lot of nudists are perceived as being, I don't know, sexually immoral or whatever. Like, contrary to what, how a nudist might, per might, might be perceived, I actually believe in strict sexual purity. Um, I believe in absolutely no sex outside of marriage, and I stay away from all pornography. I think pornography is very grotesque, and I've been sexually pure my entire life. I actively and daily practice sexual purity. Um, and I, re I personally refuse to marry someone who's not a virgin. Like, I'm very emphatic about believing in sexual purity as a nudist. So, like, I will not, I refuse to even date a girl who's not a virgin. Um, I refuse to date a girl who is in any way sexually impure. So, I'm very, not all nudists like that, are like that, but a lot of nudists are very emphatic about no sex outside of marriage, um, being very sexually pure. So, it's something I practice. Um, I've always been sexually pure, and that that's how who I am. That's my lifestyle is practicing sexual purity. So I think that uh, if you have sex outside of marriage, and you're you're a Christian and you have sex outside of marriage, you no longer have the right to call yourself a Christian. Like you have forfeited your right to call yourself a Christian if you have sex outside of marriage. Though so I'm accept I'm accepting of people of other religions, so. Like, you could convert to another religion, <laughs> I'll accept you, but um, you're not a Christian if you have sex outside of marriage. Very emphatic about that. Um, really, and really, if you're sexually impure, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're sexually impure, you should keep your clothes on, and really, you have no right to practice nudism if you are sexually impure. Um, if you have sex outside of marriage, keep your clothes on. Because you just don't deserve to be a nudist. I'll be honest. But I don't judge those who hold different values than me. I don't. I, I'm non-judgmental. But, okay, I'm not being naive about my own sexuality. Because I'm actually a very horny person. Um, like I'm like every other human being. Very <laughs> turned on by women. And I'm very horny. But it's a matter of redirecting my sexuality towards passion instead of lust. Like, and there's a big difference between passion and lust. Like, um, practicing passion is a matter of honoring a person's body, honoring that person and a sense of worshiping that person who they are in their body. Whereas lust is a matter of taking away, um, take, stealing a person and trying to break them down and objectify them. So, like, lust is a matter of objectifying a person and seeing them as an object. Whereas passion is about worshipping a human person, worshipping a woman, at least in my case, worshipping a woman for who they are in their body, like venerating her body. Um, it's also, again, part of my Eastern Orthodox Christianity, because we believe in theosis, which is basically God became man so man can become God. Um, every person, Christian or non-Christian, carries literally God inside them. So, um, a woman's body is God, in a very literal way. That's how I, what I believe in the Eastern Orthodox Christian. So, yeah, I, I do not deny my sexuality. I'm horny, but it's a, it's a matter of redirecting it to, um, in a spiritual way, passion instead of lust. So, and another thing I really value as a nudist is I'm really offended by the fact that men and women have separate bathrooms. Um, that's complete segregation. Like, segregating men and women apart from each other in terms of bathrooms, public restrooms, um, shower rooms. It's pretty much like segregation under the Jim Crow laws. That's how I view separate bathrooms for men and women. Like... Whites have this drinking fountain, blacks have th that drinking fountain. Separate bathrooms for blacks and whites. That's how it, it's very, like, separate bathrooms for men and women is very sexist. Um, it really offends me. Like, I want to see co-ed bathrooms, co-ed shower rooms, um, unisex bathrooms, 
I think it's very important for for world peace and just for the health of the relationships between men and women. Um, there will be healing between men and women if there's co-ed bathrooms. Um, healing between men and women's relationships in general, macro relationships. So, and I, I've been, and I know for a fact that I am comfortable with co-ed shower rooms because well, I've been to the Middle East four times and one time um, when I was, I stayed in Tel Aviv, Israel, and I, w I, there, I went to hostel, the hostel there in Tel Aviv was a uh, co-ed shower room, and I used a shower room bathroom. And I was totally comfortable using a co-ed shower room. Like, it's not a sexual thing, it's just, um, it's part of being a human. Like, mixing in, part of being a human, mixing in with men and women, nude, in a non-sexual way. Um, it's possible because there's no original sin and it's part of humanity, it's part of being a human to practice nudism in a co-ed context. So that's all I wanted to say. Um, I love you guys and have a good night. Bye.